Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Cowboys and Rams are on the field and finishing their warm-ups as Wyoming and Colorado State get set to square off in the border war. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA College Football Action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Garrison has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. Alvarez fields it at the one. And down he goes at the 28. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. That was a good-looking play, and it sort of caught the defense off guard. He makes it to the 38-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings, that brings up second, second and nine. going to be short. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. That'll make it fourth and two. Myers awaiting the return. He punts. No, he won't. Almost picked off. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And he tackles him hard at the 29. I don't think the play developed the way he was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. Second down and 12. Ball in the 29. to the right and he's taken down at the 31. Incomplete. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Bray, back to return it. Tackle made at the 48. Woo! 
This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. It's second and ten. Ball on the 48. Fox makes a handoff. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Loss of one on the play. Third down. Roger, Roger. Mike's 40, Mike's 40. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Good protection. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Workman was the intended receiver on the play. That brings us fourth and 11. Green is waiting for the snap. He's out to the 30, and he's tackled at the 33. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. And they make the stop at the 42. That's a That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Fakes to the back. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. He put a little bit too much mustard on that throw and it got away from him. He's tackled at the 42 yard line. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. From the 42 yard line. First down. Mike 34, Mike 34. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Here we go. Quick strike and he drops it. That makes it second and ten. and almost had it intercepted. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. He's under some heat. He heaves it to the end zone, and he scores. Touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reed. The Wildcats held the final spot in the top 25. They hope this one will impress the voters. And for Kansas State, they continue their winning ways. The Wildcats take it by four. Meanwhile, Texas State doing battle in San Mateo. The Bobcats' rushing attack can be difficult to stop. They get into the end zone for a touchdown. And for Howell, He's ripping through the defense, more than 150 yards rushing. The Bears on top by three. All right, Reese, back to our game. The Colorado, Colorado State, State is ready to kick it away. Taken at the five. Colorado State's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, it just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. Now he's scrambling.
from their own 21 yard line. Second down. Scrambling around. Decides to tuck it in and he's got space. Decides to slide. Midfield. He gets it out to about the 47 yard line. Gets it. He's in space. A couple of yards at most on that pass. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. down to the 37. With a quick throw. And down he goes around the 15-yard line. so far as we reach the end of one. Seven nothing, Ram. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Gets to about the eight-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That'll bring up third and four. All day, just like that, just like that. Again with a carry. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. That'll make it fourth and two. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. They come out in an empty backfield. Makes the grab and out of bounds. Oh, that was a big conversion. You could just see the other team's offense itching to get back on the field. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Touchdown, Cowboys. That is great, tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. The extra point to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. It was an 11-play, 77-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. Wyoming gets set to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. He makes it to the 25-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Throws this one out to the right. Tackle at the 45. That makes it first and ten. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and ten. it out left to the running back. Tackle made right around the 42-yard line. Runs 
grabs it and tackled in the backfield. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Strike to his receiver, no good. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Quick throw. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at about the 49. I think the big thing for a defense when they face a screen is chasing it from the inside out, which means the defensive linemen are the key to slowing down a really well-executed screen pass. Because if you think about it, the offensive linemen are getting downfield, blocking against the linebackers and the safeties. The defensive linemen have got to be able to recognize screen and then have the quickness to be able to chase the running back down from behind before he gets his momentum going and can outrun him. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. The ball just sailed on him, and he knows it. He'll get it next time. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Tackled for a loss. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved them back. From the 26-yard line, it's second down. across the middle and he's tackled at about the 19 yard line five wide quick pass big play and it's first and goal you know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. This is the eighth play of this drive. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And a quick throw. The Cowboys use their second timeout. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the three-yard line. the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese, keeping an eye on what's going on in San Mateo. And for Baylor, they've won two straight. The Bears grab a double-digit win. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Green, ready to kick. Fielded at the four. At the 30. Brought down to 37-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Caught in a big hit, he stopped in his tracks. Beck picks up about four yards with a catch. 
It's second and five here. Ball on the 41. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. And he tackles him hard at the 33-yard line. are going to call their second timeout from their own 49-yard line. First down. Going deep. Lays it out there. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. Accepted. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. The Rams had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. So that'll make it fourth down. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Bray, the return man. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 34. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Wyoming up seven points. Quick throw, picked off. And he hits him hard at the 38. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. It's first and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. He launches one for the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown, Colorado State. He holds in his second touchdown catch. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too. We'll be tied with the extra point. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He's out to the 30. Gets out to about the 31. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this track. Fires it up. Rock down at the 41-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. He's out of bounds at the 43. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 43. He lets it fly. So we've played two quarters. 14 apiece. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Locked up on the scoreboard at halftime and not really much separation in terms of who's had momentum in the game either, David. It seems as if every move one team's made been countered by the other. Yeah, tick for tack. You score, I score. You hold, I hold. And, you know, this is uh, this is two great teams going at it. And that's what's – it's always fun to see the chess match go back and forth. And, you know, the uh, momentum swing one way and all of a sudden swing back the other way. But very rarely do you see it go back and forth, back and forth. And now we got it all gridlocked at the half. And it's a good ball game. And it's going to be fun to watch in the second half. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. And the second half just about sets to get started. We're dead even. Wood takes it to 12. And he's taken down at the 28. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. They'll work the left. And they get nice yardage on that run. That brings them second and five. From their own 33-yard line, second down. Six yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Broussard takes it left. And they make the stop at the 47 yard line. Call it a game of 11 yards. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 47. Good outside run there. Rucker picks up about seven yards on the option keeper. That'll make it second and four. catch it. He's got nowhere to go. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back in the zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Decent run here, right side. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for an offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third down. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. That makes it second and ten. From the 39-yard line, second down. Caught first down and he's out of bounds. First down. It's the ninth play of the drive. Quickly, and that was almost picked. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Colorado State. Determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone.
and he tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 72-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Alvarez from the two. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Throws complete. He's hit right away. Here's an opening. He takes it right side for a good game. Made right around the 48 yard line. That makes it second and two. Tackle at the 47. Loss of one on the play. Third down. it out to him again. Knocked out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Fires quick. He's got another one. And down he goes around the 33-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 33. Receiver dropped it incomplete. Number 33, intended receiver on the play. And this play is number eight on the drive. Right here, right here. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down at about the 27 yard line. Gained six yards with a short completion. Gets out to about the 14-yard line. Makes it to the five. That makes it second and two. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down at about the three-yard line. And to the third, and we've got a tight one. Colorado State's lead is a touchdown. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Strike to his receiver, no good. This is the 13th play of this drive. for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he hits the PAT. 
A 13 play 76 yard drive and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. 21 21 ball game. Taken at the five. And he's tackled at the 27. <laughs> So early in the fourth quarter, every possession is going to count from here on out, and we're in a tie ball game. A little handoff. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Tackled around the 40 yard line. Harris makes the tackle at the 40 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Got some open field. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Give to the tailback. He fights forward to around midfield. That's a game of three on the play. First down. Run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he is drilled at the 49. That makes it third and nine. down and they need to get it inside the 40. Just under three to go in regulation. Fires out quickly to the tailback and he's taken down at about the 47 yard line. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. It's a short kick. Tries to get around the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. First of all, clipping. clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. If you don't rush things and avoid mistakes on offense, the worst thing that happens in this game is that you go into overtime. From their own 33-yard line. First down. Here we go, G. Get off the field. Ready. And he's level at the 21. That is a loss of 12 yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. Throws. This is incomplete. Prince was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on their own 21. Just 
just a tremendous play there late in the fourth quarter in a tie football game. And now it all comes down to the final seconds or overtime. Get on the ball, get on the ball. Get on Myers, the return man. at the 36. They'll have some time to run their offense, try to move the ball, and maybe have a chance to score. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. A little over a minute in the game. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. The wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. And they got him. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Third and long now after the sack. and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. Reynolds is the punter. He drops it. They could take a shot or two, but with this little time left on the clock, they may just want to take a knee and play for overtime. Late here in the fourth quarter now in a tie football game. And it looks like, barring another score, we might be headed to overtime. He's got it with room to run. Wyoming's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From their own 40-yard line, first down. a great tackle at the 34. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. That'll do it for regulation, and we are going to settle this one in overtime. And here we are. We played four quarters, and we still don't have a winner, so we go to overtime. Brought down at the 16. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. They'll bring him down behind the line. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held onto the football there. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. So the kicker will come out and try to build a three-point cushion here in overtime. The kick is up. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. We take you out to a battle in the Big Ten. And for Boyd, a huge day with four touchdown strikes.
The Fighting Illini walk out with a seven-point win. Reese, we're tied at 21 in this one. First and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. He has some room. He's tackling at the 12-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Workman was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 12. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's immediately tackled. That'll bring up third and eight. Quick throw in the end zone. Touchdown. How you want to close it out don't leave anything to chance this has been a fight all game long but these guys really put it together in overtime now they've got a hard-earned celebration a great game here today in a tight one wyoming 27 colorado state 21 so what are your final thoughts on this one kurt you just can't underestimate a team when they're your rival in today's game proved that and nothing stings more than losing to the one team you want to beat in overtime going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.